Hello Windows Universe! In this video we will look at how to open and use Windows settings in Windows 10. Don't fret, there will be an informative article linked in the description down below for more information. This video is based on the Windows 10 version 20H2, so there may be some differences depending on the version you're using. To open Windows settings, go to the start menu and click on settings. There you'll see icons for system, for devices, phone, network and internet personalization, apps, accounts, time and language, gaming, ease of action, ease of access, search, privacy, update, and security. System, there's display where you can adjust your monitor settings, sound where you can adjust volume, the device you use, speakers, and microphones, troubleshoot, test your microphone, and advanced sound options. Notifications and actions. This will set your notifications to the action center and let you decide which notifications that you receive there. Focus Assist, which will help you in deciding when you receive those notifications. Power and Sleep will help you in settings when your computer goes into sleep, and also you can go into additional power settings such as the power plan you use or device. Storage, which allows you to handle how your device uses its storage and allows you to configure your settings to optimize your storage. Tablet lets you use Windows 10 in computer or tablet mode. Multitasking allows you to configure your workspace to allow you to operate more than one Windows application side by side at the same time. Projecting this PC, that allows you to project a Windows phone to this PC and lets you use keyboard, mouse, and other devices. It is in many ways like a remote desktop. Shared experiences let you use your system accounts to authorize actions across all of your devices. Flipboard allows you to handle how copy or cut and paste works and how those copied or cut items are handled on your devices. Remote desktop. If you have the home edition, then you cannot access access remote desktop. However, we did do a video on how to do a workaround in this link, and we will do a description. But about tells you information about the computer, the Windows build, and a basic overview of its security system. The device icon is pretty straightforward. In it, you can find information and change configurations of your Bluetooth devices, printers and scanners, your mouse, keyboard, pen, autoplay, and USB configuration. In phone settings, you can link your PC to your Android phones, Windows phone, or iPhone. You can even receive to set up phone text and call notifications on your desktop. Network and internet settings let you see if you are connected to the internet. It also lets you set up connections for internet, Wi-Fi, dial-up, VPN, airplane mode, mobile hotspots, and proxy settings. Here you can also reset your network, handle your firewall settings, and even run the network troubleshooter. Your personalization settings let you adjust your background, your colors, how your lock screen works, your desktop themes, fonts that are available on your computer, how your start menu appears, and how and where your taskbar appears. The app settings, you can manage your installed apps, you can set your default apps, video playback settings, even decide which apps open up on startup. Accounts are pretty straightforward. Your accounts, both local and Microsoft, email accounts, sign-in options, syncing settings across your devices are set here. Time and language settings lets you set your time zone, lets you set your date, sync with both internet time, lets you set regional formatting such as month, day, appearance. You can also set the Windows display language and speak, and even the voice that your computer speaks in. The gaming settings help you configure how Xbox interacts with your computer. This is helpful with Xbox Anywhere settings. In Ease of Access, you can configure the text size, brightness, how the mouse works, the 
text cursor, magnifier, color filters, high contrast, and narrator function. In this module, you can configure the computer input and output devices to help those with disabilities in using their Windows 10 device effectively. In search, we can set up for how you uh, do a handle safe search, cloud content search, history, permissions and history, how you search Windows. In privacy, you can control your privacy options, set online speech directly. You can even enable the inking and typing personalization settings and how you work with your activity history and feedback. And in end update and security, you can configure your Windows updates. Check for new ones and download and install them. Check your Windows security. Backup. Troubleshoot. Set your recovery options. Activate your Windows or even upgrade it. Locate missing devices. As a developer, you can configure your device to its best performance for developing new programs and settings. You can also become part of the Windows Insider program before they are released to the general public. For more helpful information about the latest from Windows 10, visit our website at thewindowsclub.com. Hey, give this video a thumbs up. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel where we are always uploading new content to make your digital universe a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.